Hello everyone, welcome to the part 2 of my networking tutorial in Godot 4. Before we get started, let's quickly go over the two different RPC protocols. In networking, there are two standards of sending data. One is reliable, and two is unreliable. Reliable is, as you guessed, very reliable. You send the data and you're basically guaranteed to receive that data. Let's say for text messages, you know, you, when you send that message, you want it to 100% go to the phone that you're sending it to. However, this can be slower than the alternative, which is unreliable, which is most of the time used for games, such as sending our position data. Because you're sending lots and lots of position data that some can kind of get lost from time to time, but overall, you will still be receiving that data, but it will be at, at a much faster rate. Let's go ahead and create an alternative to the multiplayer synchronizer. This can give us more control over how our data is sent and received. So go ahead and delete it. In our player script, we will create a new RPC with the tag unreliable, since we'll be sending our position. We'll set this to any peer and call local. So we'll get a function name, let's call it update pause, and we'll pass in our ID and our position. First, we will check if we are not the multiplayer authority, so that way we can receive it if we are the puppet. If the name is equal to the ID, then we will set our position to lerp or interpolate to the new position. This is because we want to smooth out our position to the receive position, and this is not possible with the multiplayer synchronizer. You have to code it. We need to pass in a delta. However, we don't actually have our delta information. So we can go up here, create a variable, just call it E delta, set that to zero. And in our physics process, we can set our E delta to delta. Now we have an external delta. Put that here, let's multiply by about 15 or so. Now this will basically replace our position or our, our multiplier synchronizer. Now, we need to have a tick rate to send and receive the data because we don't want to be sending it every frame that'll clog up the clog up the system. Let's create a timer. Let's go physics. So it's about 0 0.03. You can mess around with this, but that's usually what I go with. Let's create an on timeout. Can I go to our player? We'll check if is multiplayer authority since we are sending this data we will call our rpc update pause with our name as the id and the position now if we set our timer to auto start and press play and i have the two instances running press host press join as you can see here we still have working multiplayer However, it is smoothed out and is no longer using the multiplayer synchronizer. An example of using a reliable protocol is by changing the material of a player in game. If we go ahead and reference our two sprites here, which one is a different than the other, and we go ahead, create a new RPC. And since this is reliable, we actually don't have to say anything. We just have to do is any peer and call local let's call it function change material and we'll just pass in id because we'll just do this on a bool so here we will check if we are not the authority then our s1 dot visible we'll get the opposite of s1 dot visible and our S2 will get the same. So just flip it. And now I've gone ahead and created an input map for a button to switch our material. So if input dot is action, just press switch material. And since we are already in our is multiplayer authority, we will go ahead and call RPC. We will call our change mat with our name. We additionally need to run the code on the same side since 
this is only the receiving end. So if we do this like this, and we press play, press host, press join, go ahead, move over here, press R, you'll see it changes on both sides. This, this is a reliable protocol, so no matter what, it will receive the message. And I know it seems instant, but trust me, you do not want to use this when you're moving and you have lots of input going at the same time. This is great for just one simple call to change one thing. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.